Um, yeah, Reddit's created a new, uh, a new mobile website, which is pretty cool. Um, and what they've decided to do is, they had an iPhone app and there's also an unofficial Android app, but they've decided they're going to make the iPhone app um, just open source, and I think they're not going to focus on it. Sweet! Because, they, again, they're sick of Apple's bullshit with having to actually get things, you know, accepted yeah, actually going stuff. through. And so they're just going to create, focus on... Yeah, well, my why make five different ones? Nice. It, yeah, I've yeah. actually used it on there. It's sleek, yeah. it's good, it's nice. And you make one website that works well on mobile phones. It can works access on all of them. Yeah, it works on all of them. It's great. And, uh, I, yeah, okay, now we're all right. Linking into this, I've, I've read this article, I forget where it is now, I'll find it eventually, but it's saying how the big craze at the moment is apps, mm. which is weird. Like, it's, it's where the money is. Yeah, it's where the money is, but it's creating walled gardens. The internet wasn't all about, it was never about walled gardens. It worked so well because it was open, free, it was free. and it was like, you know, the wild, wild west. Like, you know, sure, everything, you know, some websites, most websites look like shit. They didn't function properly. Yeah. There's all sorts of viruses and, you know, horrible things like porn and all these scary stuff. Not porn. Yeah, I know. But now you've got like the, the yeah. Apple, you know, iPhone app store where it's regulated. Like to get in there, you have to have a certain style. You yeah. have to have certain content. No porn's allowed. You can't have, you know, you basically have to have what Apple says you have. And it's being, it's popular and making shitloads of money, but it's killing yeah. the whole point of the internet, of openness, yeah. of... It's also, I think it is killing innovation too, eventually. Oh, it, it has to be. I mean, I think that's why um, Android yeah. is going, is picking up so much steam, is because you can actually do whatever you want in there. That To actually have innovation, you need the shit. You need horribleness. Yeah. You need just the worst of the worst to be there, so you can find the diamond in the rough. Like, again, you look back at the internet back in the year 2000. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> it was shocking. Shit. Like, I, I remember those websites were just bad. Yeah. Like, the flashing, the banner, the blink tag. Oh my god, the HTML blink tag. <laughs> but yeah, you needed that yeah. to actually start to work out what the good things are. That I mean, so much on the, the app store now that I, I saw another article that actually said what were the most common uh, applications that people use. The most common ones were like um, Google Maps, which are, which are already on there, yeah. and then Facebook and stuff. And so, and like then you had Pandora and these other ones, which are all web based ones that why not just make your interface online? It's, I don't know. It's, it's, I think this is an intermediary step. I, I don't think app. Mm, there's, there is a danger of it. My dust with that. Yeah. There is a danger of everything just becoming their own little walled off garden. Yeah. Well, yeah. But, I mean, you're seeing it online too. I mean, Facebook. It's a big one. Yeah. Facebook is a walled off garden, and everything looks the same. Like, yeah. MySpace was cool because you could customize a little bit, but mm. I mean, it was crap. Yeah. Why not allow more stuff in there into Facebook? I mean. I mean, you need yeah. more customization and stuff. See, you have to actually wonder where the actual breaking point is with that, because like with Facebook, they were the better way to use it. Like I, I used the other social yeah, sites on that. Clean it, and... it was, yeah. But so that there has to actually be a, a breaking point or an equilibrium somewhere where having a, a standardized layout is good to a point, and then you want the horribleness. Like same way with yeah. the browser and HTML and all of that. That sure, HTML really limited you to compared to like you can run Quake three in your browser if you use Flash and all of that. Yeah. But where did the where do you stop? Where do you go to here, and then you let anyone do what they want? I don't know. I mean, that's a million dollar probably question. Is, really. Probably <laughs> people follow the money, and the money at the moment oh, is in apt walled off gardens. Yeah. Wow. Well, I yeah. mean, even Murdoch's going. He's just in a few weeks. I yeah. think he's doing his walled off. You know, you have to pay to access the content, which will be an interesting thing to but follow. He'll, he'll make money. It won't be. Yeah. It won't be you totally know, they'll, they'll stagnate. Lost. Like they'll, it was just just going to kill yeah. off that method of. Um, content and news over the next 10 years they're going to slowly die down it, it did make me um, bring up an idea that was there before that um, that now since there are all of these established websites that have got like you know millions of views just directly towards them mm. that maybe now they can start charging until like the new thing comes off the same way with programs on the PC that there were True. millions of them until yeah. or they could just become aggregators and then yeah well but uh, yeah I mean, what are the biggest sites at the moment are aggregators. Yeah, but see, that, that's what I mean. That I mean, if the big content producers actually cut themselves off from the aggregators and became their own thing, yeah, maybe. True. Because now it's established. Who knows? It'll be interesting to see. But... It will. It was a nice long run. I'm, I'm proud of that one. <laughs> it was kind of good. Um, <laughs> next one. Uh, this is uh, pretty much totally different, which is kind of cool. This is about the new Rock Band 3. And uh, the reason I'm bringing it up is they're introducing a new instrument, which... Dun -dun 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 it's the keyboard! <laughs> <laughs> I have been waiting for this for so long. Oh my god, don't really play it too much except at parties and at friends' places. 
but I looked at this video for it. It is fantastic. I found this on rip10.com, so that was kind of cool. They were talking about showing all the new instruments and stuff that I found this video. It's really cool, because they've actually said that their focus now is harmonics are trying to actually focus on teaching people how to play actual instruments. Which is genius, yeah. like we've been speaking about that for a while, but yeah. the keyboard is the perfect example of this. But so many ways, like talking about I've had discussions before about how you could actually incorporate the keyboard into it, doing all these things. It was always a bit hard, not sure how to do it, but yeah. my god, the way they did it was just ingenious. Whoa, what's their implementation? What they did was they it's just a two octave keyboard, so it's pretty short, it's about that big. And then what they do is they have the notes coming down on the screen. But what they do is, like, on the easy modes, you can just hit one of the three. So just as long as it's up higher or up lower or down lower, they segment it down even further. And then as you get into higher and higher difficulties, you need to be more accurate, like down to two or down to three or something. Is it multi-hand, like two-handed? Two-handed, and, yeah. like, and you go up and down. But you know on the screen how you've got the things going down, uh, the, the different streams, what it says is if you're going to start moving up higher, arrows come across and you jump across and you start playing up there. <laughs> watch the video it is just incredible the way they've done yeah. this and i'm very excited especially not so much for the for the keyboard like i mean the keyboard's great but the very fact that their focus is now shifting yeah. on towards teaching people how to play actual musical instruments because yeah. like i play the piano and i've been trying messing around i've been trying to learn how to play wonder Wall. yes i am <laughs> that gay but i do love wonder Wall. it's a great song and uh, i was trying to play that on the piano and it was hard it was really difficult like not that difficult, but I mean, like, just messing around and it took a long time. Yeah. And I was just thinking, playing guitar, I can't have this learn in, like, freaking no time. It's a better way to learn. Yeah, we've, so we said before that it would be awesome to actually teach real guitar based yeah. off guitar. Yeah. And all the other, like, the whole rock band thing, because you can pick it up and you learn so quickly because yeah. of the beat, you actually get into the rhythm um, really quickly. It's great. I'd love to play saxophone. I really would. Yeah. So as soon as I, if you work out saxophone, please call me first. <laughs> I'd love to play it. Uh, I played clarinet in school. I was a band geek. It was fun. Well, I think anything with a one to one switch, like, kick up. Uh, Piano and keyboard, yeah, that's obvious. one to one, yeah. you know, you can learn straight away. I mean, drums is also one to one. I think you yeah. could actually do it. Well, they did do it yeah. that properly with drums. They actually had a, uh, a song yeah, that was a real like drum set with. Yeah. That's kind of cool. cool. You can do it with saxophone, you just need a proper mold and you just do different colors. Yeah. Also, I heard something I think we talked about way back when, but um, uh, they, were, they had uh, user created songs on Guitar Hero and Rock Band, mm. and they were actually um, being out downloaded by the official songs. Mm. So that's a cool another future that prospect. Is, that is pretty epic. People creating their own songs on this and actually, you know, distributing and just it. just selling it. That, that could be yeah. actually a, a great new way for, well, you know, all the music industry going there. That we, we don't really need our instruments to be real. They can be virtual. <laughs> yeah. So why not start doing that and teach me how to play saxophone. I'll be very happy. <laughs> True that. Yeah. This is just a quick one. I wasn't going to mention it, but it... it Again, you know, I, I jerk off to all this um, recommendation engine stuff. Not, I walked in on it not, once. Not, <laughs> I gotta be careful when I use the words, don't I? Mm. Not literally. Fuck you, Tristan. Um, <laughs> uh, there's these dot .co domains out at the moment. Top level, it's, don't just w look at me. Um, there's these top level domains at the moment. Are dot .co. Um, actually, e dot .co just sold for eighty one thousand dollars. Really? And went to charity. Yeah, I saw some other thing. But um, Twitter's uh, sh new Earl shortener is uh, t dot .co. And what the rumor is with that is they're going to be using that to actually create some kind of content recommendation system uh, throughout Twitter. Because apparently, they, they had a partnership with Bitly quite a while back, which is another L shortener, probably the biggest L shortener thing. Outside yeah, well, yeah, they're kind of, one of them closed down because they said they just couldn't compete anymore, didn't they? Yeah, well, they had a, a partnership. Yeah. But apparently Twitter, ever since, well, way back, they've been tracking every single link you click on. That's great. Not not tracking it individually, but just they're saying just in aggregate. Hmm. But um, okay. The one of the Twitter developers wrote, uh, "We want to be able to build services and APIs that can make algorithmic recommendations to users based on the content they are consuming." <laughs> what we've been talking that's about. That's it. That's exactly it. That's all that needs to be said. But and that's.